Yo, welcome back to another tutorial guys and long time no see. What I've been doing lately is creating a course for you guys. So quite a few lessons are done already. It's not complete yet, but the gist is anyone who joins early will get 50% off the first 100 people to join and you'll get access to the private Facebook group and things like that. So I'm working really hard on it and I'm really excited to turn it into the best photo editing course in the world. So keep an eye on that guys. All you guys need to know is down in the description and in this tutorial we are covering a really awesome warm look we've done an image on her before but if i show you guys her instagram we'll talk a bit about her style so as always her links will be down in the description guys go down there give her a follow let her know you found her through this tutorial and let's look at her style so if we come down you can see there's plenty of warmth so we're going to have to add in warmth into the entire image and then there's extra warm uh, shadows so we're going to add some orange into the shadows and then as you can see it's a very bright warm image so we're going to take out the shadows to warm it up and it's very flat so in the curves we're going to do take down the whites and bring up the blacks to give that flatness to the image and yeah plenty of warmth those blues are quite teal so we're gonna shift them slightly to a teal uh, we're gonna take out some vibrance so there isn't as much pop to the image in terms of color and what else um, we'll take those highlights down there's plenty of detail in the highlights so taking the highlights down and that's also going to help give a flattish look to the image and obviously really warm greens so we are going to be working with this shot right here trying to recreate the exact same edit and yeah remember go give her a follow down in the description guys uh, let her know you found her through this tutorial and let's get into this one okay so starting with this one i'm just gonna chuck up the warmth and that will get us a good starting point to get in these really rich warm tones so somewhere around uh, there and then I'll just make sure I enable profile corrections to get rid of any vignetting because there's no vignetting in this image as you can see those corners are very bright so we'll make sure we do that and let's come back up now let's just brighten the image a bit try to get it as close as we can and then we'll fine tune everything a bit later so let's just chuck it up there and I'll start off by doing the curves so just before I do the curves I'm going to drop the contrast a lot I'm just going to go about there and then I'll do the curves here so I've left myself with not much contrast at all because I know when I do the curves it will add in contrast so as you can see it adds in contrast in the curves as well so I just don't want any contrast yet so let's do the curves and I'll show you or explain what I've done after that Okay, so that's the curves done and I'll just show you what I've done here and what I was thinking. So this curve, all the red, green and blue channels, they are just going to add in some contrast where we want it in, um, in the image. So as you can see, just a general S curve, maybe a bit extra to the midtones there. And as you can see, it matches up pretty well in each of these. And what this does, it just gives you control. Say if I just want a bit more yellow in the shadows, what I'll do is just pull blue out. And just ever so subtly in those shadows, you get a bit more yellow. Say in the highlights, I want more yellows. Pull it down. And just it gives you control over your entire image with pretty much any color you want because red, green, and blue makes up 
the whole color wheel you can achieve any color you want so having a nice curve like this really really helps to fine tune and at the moment there isn't any color shift so if i come back up here if we just get rid of uh, this this curve for a second um, and if we turn the curves on and off there's not much of a color shift going on there's maybe a bit of warmth added in so if we just bring up saturation and now let's get rid of the saturation bring in the curves the colors are pretty much the same it's just adding in contrast throughout the entire image and if we just go back to getting this curve back now this one doesn't affect colors at all so this one is here to get a nice fade to our image so up here we're getting a fade to the white see how her dress goes very uh gets gets a lot of fade to it it loses its pop in a way and then as for the blacks we just bring it up a bit gets a bit of a fade to those darker shadows and blacks and then yeah look pretty good there and ever so slightly dropped in the mid-tones because it's a little bit be below the uh, center intersection there okay so let's move on let's try to fine-tune our exposure but what we need to do also i've already already enabled profile corrections let's come back up let's try to match these up a little better so if we look at the highlights of the image so highlights are the bright areas of the image so we're looking at her dress and stuff like that and at the moment you sort of can't see the wrinkles in her shirt so if you look at her sleeve right there there's you can't really see it over in her image you can see it plenty of it you can see the buttons really well and all that so what i'm going to do over here is drop the highlights and as you can see it brings back even those clouds back here over in our image you can't really see them over in hers you can so i'm going to drop the highlights all the way down to minus 100 and i see that all the time in editing is people dropping the highlights okay so as for shadows um we have a very bright style so what i'm going to do is bring up the shadows and as you know if you take out the shadows of an image you're going to get a nice bright image a warmer feeling to the image like we've got warm colors so we want a warm exposure take out the shadows uh, as for whites we're about good maybe just drop them a touch in blacks since we're bringing up our shadows um we need our darkest darks to be a bit darker because the shadows kind of affects the blacks a little but the blacks is going to really affect the darkest of dark areas so i'm just going to drop that a little because as you can see we just need a bit more of that so if we started here you can see hers are much darker let's drop those quite a bit there okay and i think we're matching up pretty well now um contrast right. um sweet let's move on to some colors so if we come all the way down and she's helped me out with um quite a few of these settings so the calibration it's pretty much impossible to see what people are moving and she's helped me out with these ones so i'll just run you through what i've got here so what i'll do is just shift the red primary towards the oranges green primary this way blue primary towards and 
moving them is a very very common way i see people move them all the time i very very rarely see people move the red primary towards the purples um the greens this way actually sometimes i see the greens that way but i never ever see the blues pulled in this direction so uh calibration isn't necessary for most styles because you can achieve it up in the hsl like this image for example i think we could achieve it very easily without the calibration but um yeah we'll run with it for now let's do split toning so uh this is gonna really help get the warm image as well so at the moment we've we've just added warmth to the entire image with the temperature slider and that can create a bit of an unbalance of tone in your image but um, in this example uh, split training is going to really help us because we're going to put a slightly darker orange in the shadows We're going to put some in the shadows and then in the highlights we're going to put a little bit more of a yellow and that just makes sense like you're going to get deeper oranges in the shadows and a bit more of a brighter yellow in the highlights and that's going to just balance the warmth throughout your image a bit more because at the moment if you try to do it all with temperature most of it is done with temperature in this image but if you try to do it all you'd get the same yellow throughout the entire image. You sort of don't want that. You want darker oranges in the shadows, brighter yellows in the highlights. And that will just, yeah, it just creates a natural look to your um, style you're trying to achieve. Bit of an advanced concept, that one, but um, yeah, important to understand. So let's move on to hsl and that should pretty much get our colors once we do that maybe up here we'll just do some clarity so clarity is going to really help us get a crispy image is how i describe it um, and vibrance will just take down a touch So Vibrance pretty much does what it says it does, like we'll take out the brighter, poppier tones of your image. Um, right, so we'll just start with saturation. We'll get our colors close to what we want in terms of saturation, because it can be hard if you got really saturated to find your correct hues. So if we just drop, say, obviously our greens, right the way down now you can see it's not affecting the image very much because quite often greens are registered as yellows in the camera so if you watch what happens when you drop the yellows we drop pretty much all our greens so let's drop that long way down oranges as well let's bring them down reds good no blues in this image really maybe in the sky a little let's just bring them up a touch quiz like we've got such a warm image by adding in so much warmth in the shadows and the highlights you're gonna push out a lot of those blues so we need to bring the blues up here because the they're pretty much getting taken out completely because we're adding so much warmth on top of them so we just want to help them stand out a bit more okay um let's go to the hues now obviously our greens are a bit orange like the or they've just they're not green enough so let's grab our greens as you can see our greens aren't really doing anything in this image again so we it's going to be the yellows that does it for us and we just want a bit more of a green tint to our yellows a bit more 
our oranges affect a lot of our image so so really looking at the flowers especially reds so we want to get these quite deep so at the moment they look very orange let's get them a bit deeper that way we want some nice teals to our blues. Just do a little bit of that. Right, down to luminance. So luminance is the brightness of your colors. And this is where you're going to get a real uh, shine to your image, especially with this. So as you can see, the grass is very bright. And some people might think that needs to be done up here with the whites or with the highlights but really you only want to brighten the greens or the grass so we can do that by brightening the yellows and then that way it's not going to really affect your dress that much or the sky for example but upping the yellows is quite a good idea because it um, it's gonna it's gonna give you a bright, vibrant look because the yellows is the sun is hitting the edges of everything, so it's gonna make everything pop a bit more. Everywhere the light is hitting, it's probably got a bit of yellow to it, so it's gonna really pop. And then. Um, so, and to create like nice contrast in your image, uh, you can do it with color and brightness as well. So if we drop our oranges now, that's the opposite way to the yellows. And that's going to just create a really nice contrast or between like your deep oranges in your face and then the bright yellows in the brighter areas. reds we want those deep reds because you're gonna if you mix deep reds with bright yellows you get a nice nice color contrast there the greens the greens don't really show out in this image show up in this image at all so we'll just kind of leave them and we are looking pretty good um Right, split turning, I think we're about right. Okay, so if I come down, I reckon our image has a little too more, too much redness or, or warmth to the image. I think theirs or hers comes off a little more uh, green or yellow. So if we look at the whites, you can see hers are a bit closer to white. Ours look a little red, subtle or like a too much orange or something. So I'm going to come down to split toning and I'm just going to put a bit more yellow in the highlights, move it, move it away from the red. And that should just see how that really changes the tone of the entire image. There's a lot of highlights, pretty much the entire image is highlights. So this is going to affect the whole image. It's going to go slightly that direction. That's good there. Okay, uh, sharpening, I'm going to chuck up to about there, and then we'll just do a little bit of grain, but we'll bring up the size. Okay, um, that looks pretty good. Um, yeah, I might just leave it there guys possibly touch more exposure or touch more clarity and maybe maybe our 
So maybe our yellows could be a bit more orange. So the grass pretty much is what I'm thinking. And yeah, maybe just a bit of sharpness to our subject here. Just got to invert the square here. And let's chuck, chuck up the sharpness. And I think we're good. I might just leave it there, guys. So uh, take note on the calibration down here. So as you can see, we probably could have achieved this edit without using calibration. So if I just quickly like get rid of everything down here, let's just turn it off. And I come up to HSL. I'll, I'll be able, I should be able to show you guys that you could achieve this without that. So if we just warm up our yellows, our greens, bring up saturation, it can go more orange. saturation to the reds or even just the oranges and then take down the greens or yellows maybe again so I'm getting kind of close you can probably see if I keep playing it I could get it exactly the same there um, yeah so that's without the calibration turned on there but yeah I'll leave it there um hopefully you guys learned something and yeah let me know what you thought okay i hope you guys enjoyed watching that one learned something so i just want to talk a little bit about the course i've been doing you guys can go learn everything you need to know down in the description about it but just quickly um it's not complete yet but anyone who purchases early uh will get to save 50 percent will get early access to me in the facebook group and yeah i'm just really excited about turning this into the best photo editing course in the world it's a place where i'll be editing my own personal style um, over there i'll be doing tutorials inside the course there i might be doing q and a's over in the course as well and yeah um go check it out down in the description guys everything down there is for you guys um everything you need to know about it and yeah as always go give her a follow down in the description guys all her links will be down there and i'll be catching you guys in the next one cheers